Well, hello there. My name is Anthony Sequera, and I'd like to be the first to welcome you to Cloud Essentials here at CBT Nuggets. In this brief introductory nugget, we're going to take a look at what this course is going to cover, the overall themes that I want you to kind of wrap your head around as we get started, and also I want to point out some tools that you're definitely going to want to take advantage of when it comes to using CBT Nuggets to get the most out of Cloud Essentials. I was so incredibly thrilled that CBT Nuggets picked me to present this course to you because I have been dealing with cloud since before it was the buzz term in the industry. Both from a real granular perspective, getting into the details of like UCS systems, that's unified computing systems from Cisco Systems, that can help make the cloud a reality from a real technical perspective, and public cloud services like Amazon Web Services. Don't worry if these terms sound foreign to you, we'll be detailing them all as we move through this course together. By the way, a quick note, I found this photograph of myself to share with you in a do not use folder on Google Drive from our design department. Number one, Google Drive is a cloud service that we'll be discussing. But number two, why do not use? I simply don't get it. Another reason I was super excited about this course is I'm a huge fan of CompTIA. CompTIA does a great job of covering technologies and not being specific to any one vendor. If you go up to the CompTIA.org website and you go to the certification site, you're going to learn that there is a certification that is wrapped around Cloud Essentials. So if we go up to the certifications area, here it is, Cloud Essentials, as one of the great specialty certifications that they offer. Now, you can certainly get exam details about this exam and what it covers, but have no fear. I will not leave any stone unturned when it comes to exactly what they will be testing you on if you're interested in taking the certification exam that coordinates with Cloud Essentials. As you and I move through the nuggets that make up this course, here's what we're going to be focusing on. First of all, we need to understand the basic characteristics of cloud. I mean, what does it really mean when we say cloud and why are we so interested in that? from a business perspective. And notice that's another series of nuggets that we'll have where we really zero in on what kind of values can cloud bring to a modern day enterprise. We'll also be looking at the technical aspects of cloud. What's a private cloud versus a public cloud versus a hybrid cloud versus a community cloud? You get the idea. We'll discuss specific technologies that make up cloud services like virtualization is a key, key concept that you'll be familiar with and even get your hands on as we move throughout this course. We'll take a look at the steps to implement cloud. There's a very smart way to move to cloud technologies and then there's an abrupt not so smart way and we'll make sure we understand the differences between those. We'll see what kind of an impact you can expect cloud technologies to have on your organization and finally we'll be taking a close look at many of the risks that are associated with moving even just a portion of your IT infrastructure to cloud-based services. Now that is certainly a lot of content. And I want you just to understand though, that there are gonna be three central themes as we move through all of this together. One that you'll hear me mention again and again is that we are going to be making sure we are implementing technology, not just because it's cool, not just because it's the latest, greatest thing, but because we want that technology to help us effectively achieve the goals of our business. We are typically interested in maximizing value and making our lives as efficient as possible within the organization, and that's what will be our focus. I know, I know, some of this technology is remarkably cool, but we're not going to be implementing it just for that reason. We'll also be looking, as you know, at the technical options that exist for us, and we need to be detailed here enough so that we can help our organization make the right choice when it comes to a variation of cloud that we're going to implement. And finally, it is risky. As we've already mentioned, we'll be dealing with risk intensely in this course, and one of the things that we'll make sure we do is mitigate 
the risk. We want to make sure that problems don't occur as we're moving to cloud technologies, but we also need to be completely prepared for the inevitable problem. So mitigation and resolving problems that occur with these risks will be a focus. Now, CBT Nuggets does an incredible job of providing you with really efficient tools to consume these nuggets that I'm creating for you. Here we are in my Amazon Web Services course, one of them here at CBT Nuggets. And notice, as I'm viewing this course, there's some tools that we can take advantage of, and there's two that are so critical, I want to point them out right now. If I'm going too fast for you, you can use the speed controls to slow me down, or you can use the speed controls to speed me up if I speak too deliberately for your tastes. So please take advantage of the speed control feature and something else that you're going to love is quiz questions. These are integrated right into the content and will not only reinforce key aspects of what we're learning together about the cloud, but they'll also validate that you're mastering this content as you move through it. Are you excited to get started like I am? In the very next nugget, we are going to do something that sounds easy. Define the cloud, but there's a lot to it and we'll begin to really dissect the characteristics that make cloud so exciting for businesses today. I hope you found this nugget informative and I'd like to thank you for viewing.